So do you never want to look at fried chicken the same way again? Killer Joe was directed in 2012, was released in 2012 and directed by William Friedkin. Uh, William Friedkin, The Exorcist, Bug. He's directed a shit ton of movies. William Friedkin is a, is a iconic, legendary director. And this one is based on a play, which I didn't know actually until this viewing. I just found that out. But Bug was also directed, uh, or Bug was also based, excuse me, on a play. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if this is a second movie based on a play, but regardless, it does feel like it at certain times of the film, especially in the third act. The third act is uh, very dialogue heavy, one location, so it makes sense that, uh, that this film was would be based off of, of a play, but um, this film is wild. I caught this for the first time on Tubi, and I really liked it, so I decided to get the Blu-ray. And this is this was my second viewing of this film, and um, you like straight up. First thing I'm gonna say is you really need a shower after this film. <laughs> um, this film is like okay. You have your Rob Zombie, redneck, hillbilly style writing that everybody picks on Rob Zombie for, okay? This film is loaded with that redneck, hillbilly style dialogue, disgusting talk, um, you know, things that, that families say to each other, stepmoms to sons to dads to everything is just... Everything that everybody makes fun of Rob Zombie for in his writing is in this movie. Um, it's crazy. I mean, the 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 film opens up with this kid knocking on a trailer door because they're all trailer trash, and he's knocking. And then his stepmom opens the door with no pants and no panties, just a huge bush, and camera forward. <laughs> it's like, oh, would you put some clothes on? And she's like, I didn't know it was you, and I didn't know it was you. You just open the door to strangers to with your bush showing okay i guess that's how you roll and then they're going on and she just doesn't want to put clothes on she grabs a beer he's like trying to you know get her to put clothes on she won't dad shows up played by uh thomas hayden church and thomas hayden church in this movie is the biggest simp i can remember in a while um he's he's just <laughs> He seems uneducated. He's a bitch in every situation. Everyone. I think the only person you can kind of manhandle is his son sometimes. But he is the biggest bitch ever. And Thomas Hayden Church as, as an actor and a, and a guy is not that uh, pussy. Like he's 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 a he's a you know he's a broad dude. He, he, he looks like he can take someone. But fuck man, in this movie he is a pussy. <laughs> And that's his character, though. That's full on his character. Uh, at one point, him and his son are, are at a, a strip club. They're watching strippers together and chatting. Um, anyway, that's that's the Hick style and the the family we're dealing with throughout this film. What we have going on is the son, Chris, uh, got in trouble with some drugs and the drugs went missing and now people are after him. And he owes a bunch of money to these crooks and these thugs. And uh, he, I think it's like... 20... He owes some money to them. I forget the numbers because... Um, he hears that his mother has a will to his sister, Dottie. Uh, Dottie is played by Juno Temple. Juno Temple is gorgeous in this film, uh, in a lot of things. But in this film especially, she plays this like really innocent-looking uh, girl. It's not made clear how old she is in the movie, but um, it, she's in her 20s regardless. Um, but she plays this very, um, like, innocent, shy, uh, basically virgin girl that's in the midst of this crazy fucking rated ass family. And because the mother has this will to Dottie, uh, Chris decides to hire a hitman, played by Killer, or played by Matthew McConaughey, Jesus, Matthew McConaughey, who plays Killer Joe, and he's also a cop and a detective, so... He's a cop and a detective, and his side job is being a hitman, so they want to hire him. He he asks for $25,000 off the, off the bat before he starts anything, or he also suggests a retainer, which is basically Dottie. So he requests twenty-five grand 
or Dottie, Chris's sister, Thomas Hayden Church's daughter, um, as kind of like, kind of ransom, but more of like a play thing till he can get his money, um, or 25 grand, like I said, before he even goes to kill the mother. And Thomas Hayden Church and Chris are like, yeah, okay, go for it, because... That's what they do. <laughs> so this poor girl is in the hands of fucking Killer Joe. Um, she does strip down a lot in this movie, which is nice to see. But it's really disturbing to watch uh, Killer Joe and, and her scenes because there is no, like, sexiness to it. It's just disturbing and creepy and weird. And, and with everything else going on behind, like, she's basically whoring herself out for free. Um... It's, it's just, it's, it's wild. Um, and then shit goes down, obviously, uh, twist happens with the, with the money and everything, with the will, it doesn't go as they thought it would go. Um, and it's also hilarious that Chris heard about this, um, this hitman through Rex, who is the boyfriend of the mom that they want to kill. So he heard through Rex about <laughs> Killer Joe, and then it ends up, um, that Rex is the the inheritor of the money because the mother put the money towards Rex instead of Dottie. So they only figure this out after she's dead and now Rex, Rex gets the money and then Killer Joe has no money to get because it's Rex and uh, he basically says that he's going to take Dottie for himself and marry her and take her away and the whole third act is uh, is this really insane um, tense thriller scene that all takes place in the trailer during a Kentucky fry chicken. What they say, K fry C, that's it. K fry C, that's how they say, uh, Kentucky fried chicken. Um, they're eating K fry C in the trailer with, with, you know, Thomas Hayden Church and, uh, and Gina, Gina Gershon, Gershon. Gina Gershon, I remember her from, um, Cocktail. The movie Cocktail with Tom Cruise. She was the she played Coral in that movie, the love interest between Tom Cruise and uh, and the bartender guy. She's in this movie and uh, she gets the fuck beat out of her um, by Killer Joe. And then there's I guess the infamous scene, and you know I, I do want to make this a spoiler review because there's just so many specific scenes to talk about, uh, and I already spoiled the whole will with the money thing anyway so um yeah uh matthew mcconaughey takes a chicken leg and and puts it on his crotch uh resembling a dick and then makes gina gershon's character um blow the chicken leg <laughs> and it's like two three minutes he's he's there and he's almost like moaning in pleasure too even though she's sucking on a chicken leg and he's just like threatening and it's it's so demeaning and it's so like this is where i say you need a shower to watch this after watching this movie because you're just like this character is dehuman dehumanizing and demoraling everybody and thomas hayden church is at the fucking corner watching all this happen with killer joe completely dehumanizing his wife and she's sucking on a chicken leg and, and she's deep throating this fucking leg. And he's, and Matthew McConaughey is like, I'm not going to get my money now. So I need uh, a payment uh, in some other kind. And his performance is awesome. Like, it's really, really good. It's so good to the point where it's disturbing and it's hard to watch, which makes for a good psychotic performance. And uh, I haven't seen Matthew McConaughey this psychotic since Next Generation, which nobody really likes to talk about his performance in that movie, especially him. <laughs> but I do have to bring it up because this is the first time I've seen Matthew McConaughey this unhinged uh, since. So uh, it's wild. I love Juno Temple in this film too. One, because she's gorgeous. Two, because she gets naked in the movie. Uh, she is a very comfortable actress when it comes to showing off her body. She, um, she's, uh, comfortable in her own skin, in her own skin, literally. And, uh, and that's, that's a good thing from an actor or an actress when they're comfortable with, uh, doing those kinds of things. Um, 
she's cute. She puts on this like Texas accent, even though she's British. She does a really good job with it. Um, the the ending, like the very final frame, is awesome. I I won't really. It's left up to interpretation. So. For everybody who's seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I love how that ends. And just how fucking crazy it gets. Like, the Thomas Hayden Church's character, Ansel, and uh, the his wife, um, Sharla, played by Gina Gershon, they want to kill fucking Chris. They want to kill his son. He wants to kill his son. Like, they're stabbing him and everything. <laughs> and, um... And he, he gets shot by, uh, Chris gets shot by Dottie, his sister, and these guys are all after Chris, and Chris is just there to protect his fucking sister, and, uh, and the, the, just the explosion of everything during a K Fry C dinner, and this fucking psychopath wrecking havoc in this trailer, it's just, the situations that these people get in are so terrible, and they're so sick in the head like and, and their their decision making is twisted like from the whole giving Dottie as a retainer to the way they talk it is just it's a fucked up movie man it's so fucked up and you don't feel sorry for anybody at the end other than Dottie and um I mean in my perspective I think uh I think Dottie pulled the trigger I'm just going to say that. <laughs> but again, it's left up to interpretation, so you can take it anyway. You can say that Dottie was the hero of herself, or you can say that Dottie um, went off with Killer Joe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, William Friedkin uh, holds no punches with a lot of the themes that he puts in this film. But like, you know, when it comes to Bug, I mean, Bug can be pretty disturbing at times, too, but Bug, in comparison to this, is a children's movie, okay? Bug is nothing compared to Killer Joe. Killer Joe is insane, and, um, yeah, it's, it's fucked. It's fucked. <laughs> so it's just a film that has to be seen to be believed. If you haven't seen it, I don't know why you're watching this review. It's a spoiler review, but, uh, fuck, man. Killer Joe. Go check out Killer Joe, directed by William Friedkin. It's uh, it's an insane watch, and uh, have your shower ready for afterwards. Just saying, and like I said, you won't be looking at KFC ever the same way, ever. Subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you like to listen to my voice, or if you like my film reviews. I'll be back with more soon, so stay tuned for those. Check out what's on the channel already. Stay tuned for what's coming. Until next review, take care and cheers.